Hey, what's up? Pizza Loving Nerd here. So, a YouTuber by the name of Enderman um, made this video where he basically ran windows at different, um, with different amounts of RAM to see what would happen. And it's actually a whole series, so there's, you should check that out if you like this video. So, I decided, hey, let's do, so, let's do the same test. So I did the test, except OBS stopped working, so I just decided to make five virtual machines, each with a certain amount of RAM, instead, using the test results. So I started my test with 128, and as you can see, it boots up fine. So it boots up fine, and it works fine. So as you can see, um... I'm going to log in, and then enter in my password, and as you can see, boots up fine, I'll use links. So let's type in google.com, and I can search Google. Google. The classic Google and Google. Anyway, so I'll just shut it down. So, next, I decide to divide that by 2 and put in 64. And then after that, I noticed 50. It stopped, so I tested a bunch of other... I kept testing it until I decided to s get different results each time. So with 64, when you boot, as you can see, um, it starts. Whoa. But then it gets an error saying SB, um, SM bus base address unintelligized. Upgrade BIOS, blah, blah, blah. But other than that, it works fine. As you can see, I can... I can open up Wix. And, oh, gee. Okay, google.com. So, yeah. I'm gonna do the classic Google and Google. But when you power it off... Oh, wait. No, I didn't mean to do a hard shutdown. If I were to power that off again, sorry. If you were to send a shutdown signal, I noticed, this would happen once I shut, um, do the shutdown signal. One second. Um, as soon as it asks for a password, I'll shut it down. Okay, so, as soon as I... Do the sh send a shutdown signal. It gets a, a kernel panic. It says out of memory and no killable processes. So then you have to power off the machine. Next, when we get to 58, um, when I boot, it kills a bunch of. It has to kill a bunch of system D processes. So system D, U, Dev D. And then it puts you into an emergency shell. So it doesn't ask for my password. It just gives me the root file system and I could do anything I want on here. So, yeah. And then if I send a shutdown signal, instead of hard shutting it down, it gets pretty interesting. <laughs> Once it decides to work, Okay, shut down dash now, I guess. Oh, wow. I guess you can't shut down, shut it down. Wow. About hard shutting down the machine. It worked before. That was weird. But now when we get to 57, as you can see, it gets stuck on loading Intel RAM disk. So I, I literally sat here for five minutes waiting for this. So, yeah, it just gets stuck on a loading, um, in, t in it, uh, in t I, can't, I can't speak, ever. So, I power off the machine, and an Arch 54 megabytes doesn't boot at all, as you can see. Error out of memory, press any key to continue. So, and then when you, it gives you a kernel panic. So... As you can see, running operating systems with low amounts of RAM are pretty interesting. 
Um, please like and subscribe and share this video and I'm out.